Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to make your radial symmetry names. Your first step is you'll have your white piece of paper and then you're gonna fold, pick up one corner and have it touch so the side lines up. So again, your paper looks like this. You're gonna take one side, fold it so it lines up. See, mine wasn't even perfect. I need to make sure it lines up even better and then crease it. Okay, so you'll have this extra chunk right here. And then what you're gonna wanna do is cut that. So you'll have a little scrap piece of paper. And if you'd like, you can keep this or go get, give it to me and I'm gonna put it for draw station. So we have this perfect square for our piece of paper. You're gonna fold it just like it was before. And we're gonna fold it in half two more times. So take a corner, fold it in half. Crease it, and then you're going to take another corner and fold it in half again. So you fold it in half three times total. See it's about the size of my hand. Once you get to this step, it's time to practice writing your name. You're going to want to do it in bubble letters. Um, if you need help with bubble letters, I can help you. Um, but remember how I taught you that you can write your name in all caps. And then trace around it to write in bubble letters and erase the inside. So you can do that, or if you need me to help you get started, I can. But I'm gonna write my name, my first name is Katie, so I'm gonna write Katie on the inside. If you wanna do a nickname to make your name um, shorter, you can. All you have to do is make sure that the letters touch the top and bottom. So my K is gonna be really small, but my A is gonna be bigger, and my T is probably gonna be pretty big, and then I and then E is gonna be small again. So. Time to trace it in Sharpie. Okay, so I traced my name, I wrote it, traced it in Sharpie. And the cool thing you guys get to do now is you're gonna unfold it. And then do you see how your name is kind of there? You are going to trace it again, but this time it's going to be backwards. So I can kind of see it through the paper. I might have to hold it down a little bit or hold it up to the light. Okay, so there I have my name backwards. it up. There's my name frontwards and backwards. And then what you're going to do is fold it over in half. And you're going to keep doing this guys till you have filled up this whole piece of paper. So I'm going to fold it in half. Try to make sure that my lines are touching. And then I'm going to trace again. See how I can see my lines? So I have these two sides. Open it up. These two are done. I'm going to do the same thing. Where I fold it in half again.
sorry, I'm gonna fold it in half like a square. And now it's time to trace these two sides and these two sides. done and I get to color it. Remember my color should be the same. So if I'm going to color my K's all the same color, my A's all the same color, T's, I's, and E's and so far. And then if you choose to do different colors on the inside, they need to be the same. So each chunk should be the same on each side for colors too. 